Good morning guys, a little story for you guys. Our water heater broke and flooded the entire bedroom as well as our bathroom. I still don't know the cause. It might be an installation issue. It might be the water heater itself. I still don't know. But look at the damage that it has done. From here, mukhang wala. Pero if you look closely, you can see all these bulges and everything is warping. So basically, this entire floor is damaged. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Why do some floors warp? Why yung iba pareha yung itsura pero okay naman? Ano ba talaga ang dapat i-consider when I'm trying to choose flooring for the spaces in my home? That's today. By the way guys, hindi kasalanan ng supplier namin yung nangyari sa flooring. These floors were not made to resist water. Some are. Actually, yung supplier mismo, they're coming here to help us out on how to save this kung kaya pa ba, although no guarantees. So, sama ko na rin sa video. Oh, hello there, mom sir. Welcome to the Skypod Warehouse of Floors. <laughs> Pwede na tayong gumawa ng uh, showroom. <laughs> Sobrang effort ng video na to, pero I can relate to this predicament kasi because it took me so long to understand all the types of floorings so that I could understand where to place them and what to do with them and paano sila na function and how they are different. Do brands matter, etc, etc. So today, that's exactly what we're going to simplify and boil down into very simple terms. How to choose the right flooring for your home for each and every area. That's today. Imagine you're shopping for a flooring for your home. Tatanungin ka ng salesman. Sir, ano gusto mo? Tiles? Vinyl? Luxury vinyl? Wood laminates? Meron pang ibang brand ng wood laminates? Ibang style ng wood laminates? Engineered wood? Solid wood? Pati na rin bamboo. Sama na dito. So these are the most common types of flooring. Ano ba ang differences nilang lahat? And the easiest way to figure out what you need is just to realize what these are made out of. When you understand what they're made out of, magigit sa natin kung saan siya dapat natin i-apply at ilagay. First up, we have tiles and do you think this looks familiar? Yes, it's from my closet. Yes, wow. Made in Portugal, imported. Wow. <laughs> so this is the most common na ginagamit natin dito sa bahay. Most of our home is tiles because it is durable, it is... Waterproof. Waterproof, sanay na tayo with it. But, syempre, hindi siya yung as warm to... When you're barefoot in your bedroom or in other places of the house, when you want to like experience a medyo soft yung tinatapakan natin. And it doesn't give that warm, fuzzy feeling of having a wood look in your home. Kahit ito, this is a fairly high-end tile. Hindi pa rin siya quite as believable na wood, wood siya. tile, but you yeah. can tell it's not wood. Yes. Yeah. So, that's why we have all these other options. Let's start off with luxury vinyl planks or LVP. Paminsan tinatawag natin LVT, luxury vinyl tiles. Because meron ding flooring na vinyl lang. Alam mo yung dati na yung dinidikit sa flooring natin using rugby, parang ganyan. That's vinyl. And ito yung upgraded version. All of this has a backing. And then yung core niya, yung pinaka element niya is Vinyl. So, meron siyang vinyl dito. And then, it has this layer here. Itong layer na to is the printable layer. So, parang itong nilang dinodrawingan. Oh. Piniprint lang nila to. And then, there's a topmost layer if you look very, very closely. Para siyang sheet of hard plastic which resists yung mga scratches. So, alam mo yung vinyl dati na palagi siyang nagsascratch. Whenever we're pulling furniture, heavy furniture pushing it on the ground, nagsascratch siya. So this makes it a lot more resistant to that. But it also has disadvantages, which we'll talk about later. So from luxury vinyl, we have somewhat of a similar product, and this is wood laminate flooring. So here we have different types and different brands. But in essence, para lang siyang luxury vinyl natin kanina po, ma'am sir. So, may backing siya. And meron siyang printed layer sa taas. Meron din siya yung scratch-proof resistance na plastic sa pinakataas. 
But yung core niya is wood chips or like parang ground na wood na kinumpress to make it really strong and durable. So this is wood laminate. Again, this one is different brands. We'll talk about the differences in different brands a bit later. Next natin na item po, ma'am sir, is engineered wood. So the biggest difference is that yung pinakataas niya is real wood. Out of all of this, this is using real wood. But engineered siya because yung core niya is plywood and the topmost layer is wood. Just for that extra luxurious feel. So if you see that there's some sort of a theme na it's just sandwich of different elements tapos yung pinakataas, yung most important, di ba? Yung printing niya, pinaka-pattern niya, dun kasi yung important when it comes to the look. But the most premium, most high-end, most, 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 pinakamahal one, which is solid wood. So, solid wood is just like engineered wood. Sa labas, it's very similar. It's real wood. But this one is solid all throughout. So, real wood, real wood, real wood. It's just one whole plank. Ito mga grooves niya, so it can be just clicked into place. Siyempre, I'm sure that people are gonna be asking, what about bamboo? What about bamboo flooring? So, think of it like ganito lang din sila. It's either made like this, solid bamboo all throughout, or engineered wood, which yung pinaka face lang niya, the one that you see, is the bamboo. So, when it comes to expense, makikita natin ngayon, which are the most expensive. So, siyempre, this is all solid hard wood so this is the most expensive a little less expensive a little less expensive a little less expensive generally speaking and yung tiles very very subjective because there are styles that are from the cheapest to like super expensive sometimes almost as expensive if not more expensive than solid hardwood quick update guys this is our master bedroom right now half of it na lang on my flooring we're removing everything and drying them outside. But if you can see, the floor underneath is still moist. This has been like this for two days now. And ang pinakamaganda sa system na ito is that we can take it out. Clip, clip lang siya. So sobrang bilis lang to take it out. And then hopefully by this afternoon when everything is dry and well, we can put it back. And hopefully, magre recover siya back to its original shape. So fingers, fingers crossed. Okay, pros and cons of each one, generally speaking. So, pros and cons of each one. So, tiles, super durable, but nagka crack siya, nagchi chip. But again, this is your multi purpose flooring materials. But the biggest disadvantage of this is that pag tinapakan mo, tinapakan. <laughs> pag tinapakan mo, it's cold, it's hard, and it doesn't feel like it's inviting, especially for bedroom. And also, it doesn't look as real as all these other options. Okay, next up, vinyl. So again, kanina we were talking about yung vinyl na nasa loob niya. So think of it like a plastic. Because it's vinyl, like a plastic, it's very resistant to water. So kahit anong mga area na super soaked in water or most likely water is gonna leak through, spill, whatever, a kitchen, mga near the pool area. This is perfect for that. Kaso, since it's plastic, it also deforms when it's exposed to very, very high temperatures. Like our bedroom, na glass yung buong wall area, if this gets hot all the time, there's a good chance that this will slightly or slowly deform and warp. So you can't put it in the deck either? I wouldn't recommend it personally. I would recommend this for indoor applications na hindi exposed to extreme heat. And also, you have to be careful of kung sino yung supplier. You have to ask the supplier kasi dapat may mga UV protection to siya ng mga layers because their printing can sometimes fade because of all the UV. Diba yung furniture natin if we fade because of the UV? Similar to this. By that, you would have an idea na brands do really matter. Okay, next up. This is from Steiger. This to Arpergo. Although it seems similar, meron tong pagkakaiba. 
This is the one we're using in our bedroom. Again, the pros and cons. Because it is wood, so it is more sturdy and it is resistant to heat, so it will not warp. But the downside of that is that it's not waterproof. What? It's not waterproof, which is what happened to our room. Because it was soaked so badly, it expand siya. Just like normal wood, diba? So that is the biggest downside of this. But the upside naman, for me personally, it looks so much better than vinyl. Just look at that. This is the same brand, but since para to siyang paper na talaga na print nila eh, they place it here really, really well. They're not printing on vinyl, so it looks so much better. And this is where the brand differences come in. If you look at this, meron siyang printing na layer, di ba? So this is the wood pattern na layer. This is what's printed. It looks really fake. <laughs> Harsh, solid, harsh. But yeah, and that is because although nilalagyan nila ng texture, I don't know if you can see it on camera. If you touch it, meron siyang ah, may mga yeah. lines, lines. So it's like a random line pattern on top of the printed layer. It so, doesn't match. It doesn't match. This is the most realistic looking one for me personally. If you notice, my printed layer siya, but yung mga texture niya is matched to the printed layer. So for example, meron siyang eye dito, ng wood. Yung printed layer, if you can see on camera, is matched to the exterior protective layer, yung anti-scratch na layer niya. Like, you can see the, the pattern that's like following it. For me personally, one of the best looking ones, but they actually invented laminate flooring in the first place. I think 1970s in invent nila to. And the biggest pro though, of this is that's why ginagamit namin to sa gym is that these tend to be more scratch resistant kasi itong luxury vinyl pala since it's plastic i'm hitting it with something heavy nagde-dent yung plastic diba so more resistant si wood so we've used this in the gym without a problem yung mga sa office na nagmo-move forward and back ka sa chair mo hindi talaga siya nagse-scratch the only time this scratch is that we were installing heavy slabs of stone on our walls and the drag yun. So, medyo sharp na talaga na edge ang tumama. And this, I would say, is a fairly, fairly okay result. So, mukha na akong bias sa laminate flooring. <laughs> Uh, I'll give you an update on our bedroom later, but looks like we have to start thinking about changing the flooring on our bedroom. So instead of going for this, I'm going to upgrade it a little bit. Not this look, but I'm going to upgrade it a little bit to something that Pergo recently released. So this is why, again, brands do matter. You have to ask your supplier about the nitty-gritty details. This one is a little bit different than this because yung clip system niya dito. So when it's attached together, according to them, nagsisil talaga siya ng maayos. So if water gets in, even from the sides, because the seal is waterproof, it doesn't get into the wood, so it makes it a lot, lot more water resistant. In their website, I was checking this out. They were actually recommending this for use in mga kitchens, for like, for example, nahuhulugan na siya ng mga dishes, and it's still going to survive because it's scratch proof and dent resistant and because also the seams are now water resistant pwede nang mag heavy cleaning and this will serve it really really well that's wood laminate now for the premium end of the spectrum these are for me yung mga naalala ko mga lolo lola natin ganito yung itsura ng mga flooring talaga nila even my dad's house is using real wood so solid wood floors yung ginagamit nila and for me personally ito yung the ultimate luxury kasi alam mong in your head totoong totoo talaga siya but what's the difference between solid wood and engineered wood engineered wood believe it or not although plywood siya actually performs better than solid wood because yung mga patterns of yung grain nila because it's man-made they're able to make it more stable but among all these other products these two are the most high maintenance madalito na sa scratch madalito na the dent and madalito magwa warp if it gets wet 
or moist. So we have a lot of family members who actually tell me, "Bakit nago warp? Ano ginamit niyo? Engineered wood." Oh, okay. So this needs to be well taken care of. The biggest advantage of solid wood versus engineered wood is that this, since it is solid, if ever it warps, pwede ko tong repair. I can sand it down and make everything flat again and refinish the flooring and it would look like new again. This one, you can probably do it once or twice because again, very thin layer of solid wood. This one, you could do it almost indefinitely. Yung dad ko, yung bahay nila, I think is more than 10 years old na and they've refinished the flooring there about two or three times. Madugong trabaho, like sanding the entire flooring, sobrang malikabok. But after a while, the wood stabilizes, hindi na siya move as much. And it looks really, really good. But again, really, really expensive. Most expensive one. So bamboo is just similar to this. So, ganyan. So it's been about four days since our room got flooded. But before I show you guys what is going on here, I just want to make something very clear. Konting disclaimer lang guys, na yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, was all generalization. Siyempre, from brand to brand, and brands do really matter. Yung mga premium and meron silang mga parang nababawi nila yung mga disadvantages of the product. So, for example, kanina we were talking about vinyl and how it warps in the heat. Pero si Pergo, these are all Pergo samples, I asked for them. Meron siyang technology that makes it warp-free and resist the heat very, very well. So, yun, na, na overcome niya yung weakness. So, again, with the higher end brands, more pricey, but I would say worth it if you really want the best of the best. This one in particular, diba sinabi natin, laminates parang nage expand siya when nababasa. But this one, meron siyang technology that seals everything together when it's properly clipped on. So, this one is actually aqua safe. They call it the Pergo Sensation. And ito yung gagamitin namin dun sa aming Monterasas project. So this would be a high quality premium flooring for the future homeowners of that house. And lastly, kakasend lang nila nito. And I'm very, very impressed. This is engineered wood, but they say it's warp free. And check this out. Check out the texture. It's like Real wood, the real wood version of what we have. Everything is sobrang sakto and it feels so good. But they say this is very expensive, about as expensive as mga solid hardwood. But it resists yung mga warping a lot better. Plus, again, with their clipping technology, mas hindi pumapasok dito yung mga dumi dumi or moisture, making it resist mga water and spills. So again, the brands are very, very important. And lastly, when it comes to brands, you have to be able to talk to your supplier and make sure that all the products that you're using in your home are VOC free. That means yung mga glue nila wala siyang volatile organic compounds nag -e evaporate Alam mo yung paminsan may amoy, parang rugby smell or rubber smell. And those are cancerous. So make sure your products are free from, again, VOC. And now, time for the tour. <laughs> After four days, I'm happy to say na even si Chris, okay na siya with this one. It's not as warpy as it used to be. It started drying up, I would say, about 80-90% better. There's still like marks here and there, but hindi mo na feel sa paa. And I think it's because number one, it's a good quality brand. And I just like to say a special thank you to Design Source. Sila yung flyer namin dito. And I actually called them and I said I'll order a new set na lang for our bedroom. Sabi niya, ah, wag kamo na mag-order because from their experience, basta pergo yung ginamit. It can sometimes recover pag din dry up. So that was actually their idea. And right now, mukhang okay naman. There's still like places na pwedeng i-repair, but because this is a clip-on system, if we decide to repair it in the future, pag meron ng insurance money, <laughs> sobrang bilis lang. So we took it all out in a day and returned it that same day. So 
if we're just replacing bits and pieces of it, it would be so much faster. So that's also one very, very big advantage of a clip-on system. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining this small lecture all about wood floors and uh, I'll see you later.